hey guys welcome back to another DIY tutorial so today we are going to be making this Caribbean skirt okay I made a YouTube uh, short recently and I asked you guys what do you want what do you think do you want a tutorial and you guys came through as usual so yeah and the good part is that I love the skirt so I was I couldn't wait so long guys so I have to recreate it so yeah so um at the process of making this skirt i realized that it wasn't just something i would just pick up my fabric and my pattern and start making it so i faced a little bit of challenge okay because i wasn't i wasn't aware of the the difficulties that was I, I was about to face okay so yeah that is why i wanted to sit down and talk with you, uh, talk with you guys a bit before we go into the tutorial so that when we are going into the tutorial you already know what to expect and what to do to avoid that okay so um first thing uh, i want to welcome you thank you so much for joining me today uh, if you see my channel for the first time my name is chile rack and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome so in this tutorial we're about to do if this is something that you are interested on please keep on watching this video to the end to know how to recreate this for yourself okay so uh let's begin first thing you need to know is that the fabric you need to uh, to get to recreate this skirt so uh, i'm just going to go briefly uh for this particular style and uh, the design i will advise you to get lace of course it's lace what type of lace can you get light lace and also stretchable lace okay it has to be stretchable don't get stretchable lace that is has that heavy thickness on it the type of lace you are going to get is a lightweight uh lace okay and it has to be stretchy and then the lining also it has to be uh, stretchy as well okay how many yards can you get you get four yards to five yards depending on your body size okay so now that you know about the fabric okay so now how many yards will you get i know that's the question you need to know so you're going to divide your round hip circumference divide your round hip circumference by five okay i wanted to say you should divide it by four but i divide mine by four the lower part did not give me that exaggerated um fitting like the fullness that i was expecting to get because i divide my round hip circumference by four to get the lower part so I will just say divide your round hip circumference by five, then you calculate that uh, measurement, whatever number that gives you, calculate it. Then you will know how many uh, yard of fabric you are going to get. So one yard is thirty six inches. Okay. So when you divide that, uh, multiply that by the number that you get, you should know how many yard you need. To, you are going to buy your lace, and um, the, that aside. So at the process of making it, I will advise you as you are cutting your rectangle, okay, make sure you mark the midpoint and the midpoint of the front and the midpoint of the back. For every step that you're cutting, you need to mark them, okay? The first layer, mark them. The second layer, mark them. So that by the time you're going to make your ruches, to join them back together, you're going to have all your gathers are going to be even. I didn't know of this for the first time while I started. Until when I started making it, I started uh, facing the challenge. I spent almost almost 24 hours on recreating this tag. Okay, so and um, how do you go about with um, the length to know how to cut out the the step by step layer? You are going to first thing you need to know how many uh, what is the length of your skirt? How long do you want your skirt to be? So when you Find out the length of your skirt you're going to minus two inches away from that measurement and then divide it even but if you want the, the second layer to be shorter then when you divide it even minus three inches away from that measurement or four uh, five inches from there and add it to the last layer okay so that is how you're going to determine the length the step-by-step -step length for you to get to get your skirt made okay and um yeah that is it for now i'm going to talk more of the other things when we are going to be drafting out the pattern and cutting our skirt to sew okay 
so without further ado let's head into the cutting table and yeah let's go right away so now let's get started i have my pattern paper right here and i've also uh gone ahead to draw at my starting point which is the part where i just write waist there and my fabric my paper is going to be on fold so just in case if you want to cut direct to the fabric you don't want to go into a stress of creating a pattern uh just cut direct to your fabric so you have to place your fabric on fold okay and when you're going to fold your fabric you have to fold your fabric into four because it's the same pattern that we're going to use for the front that we're also going to use it at the back okay there is no zip on this uh skirt so how do you determine the length that you need to work with you're going to find out the distance between your waist and your hip line okay when you find out the distance between your waist and your hip line you're going to minus one inch away from that line okay minus one inch for instance if you have 10 inches minus one inch is going to remain nine because that nine is going to be together with your waistband so this calculation is together with your waistband okay so for you to now start drafting the pattern you're going to place your tape one inch above and then you're going to mark where the nine inch is okay in case if your hip from your waist to your hip line if it's nine uh, ten inches but mine is nine inches so when i minus one inch it's going to remain uh eight okay so to uh to find out my uh, where my eight inches or to mark my eight inches i'm going to mark place my tape one inch above for my uh, waistband okay then mark where my eight inches is and i will repeat this line twice so that i can have a straight line connecting my hip line so uh here is my hip line my waistline so i'm going to level my hip line here my hip so the next thing i'm going to do now is to start marking my horizontal measurement i have done with the vertical measurement basically this is all you need to draw out okay so right now i will be calculating uh my waist circumference and my hip circumference so my waist uh circumference divided by four is seven minus one inch because we are working with elastic the fabric we're using is uh, uh is stretchy so you need to minus one inch from that measurement okay so my hip is 40 divided by 4 is 10 minus 1 is 9. So I will just connect all this point together here to create my um, my half length of my skirt. So now that I'm done from this part here, move on to here, okay? This side, you're going to determine how wide you want the side to be, okay? Mine, the one I used, the original pattern that I used for my skirt it's four inches at the end of the day okay but uh i didn't really like it that much it didn't give me that actual style that i wanted to recreate from so this is the actual measurement you need to take okay the the, the width from the side is two inches minus your waistband okay so when you join it together with your waistband you're going to have three inches total so the next thing i will do is to get my my fresh cuff ruler and then create my ruler so don't place your fresh cuff ruler like this or create your cuff like that okay so this is the i think this is the best way for you to create your cuff to, to have that curvy kind of shape okay so place your tape uh, your french cuff like this and connect the shape okay if you're very good with your free hand use your free hand but if you're not then you use your french cuff if you have it okay so the next thing I will do is to add my joining allowance round, 0 0.5 inch joining allowance. That is what I'm going to be adding to this pattern. So you're going to be adding this allowance both your waistline as well okay so the next thing now i will cut out the ss pattern or the ss paper that i don't want okay so i've done with it so the next thing now we need to do some correction here i don't like how pointy it is at the lower part okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to open the paper like this and then i will use my fresh cuff roller if you're very good with your free hand use your free your then use your free hand to create that shape below make it the uh, take out that pointed uh, ed edges from there okay uh, just like the way you see me doing after connecting it like this i'm going to fold it back and then i will trim that part off 
okay basically that is it so yeah but if you want it that pencil then you can leave it but if you don't do this correction like this okay so my pattern is ready we are going to use the same pattern to cut out the front and the back okay so this is the actual pattern that i use on my own like i said earlier okay that mine was too wide i don't like how wide it is by the side but if you prefer to use uh, mine then what you're going to do instead of marking two inches you're going to mark three inches below okay so now the next thing now is the fabric so this is the fabric that i'm going to use this is the lining okay this lining was the lining i got for my previous uh, tutorial that i showed you guys recently if you haven't seen it i'm going to leave the link on the description box okay so you can go and check it out so that is the lining that i'm going to still use on this tutorial is extremely stretchy and then here is the lace that i'll also be using this is four yard i got four yard because i wasn't sure at first i didn't know how to uh, get the actual fab uh, the the yard that i want so it was when i was working on it that was when i got the idea that for you to know how to calculate uh, to know the uh, how many yards to get you need to calculate your round hip circumference uh divide your round hip circumference by five okay so yes that is it so this is my own pattern if you like how wide my own pattern is use uh, then use mine but if you don't like it then use the one that i just show you how to draft okay so now let's cut our pattern okay i'm going to get my pattern and place it on my fabric to cut so what i'm the easier way i'm going to do here is that since i'm using the same pattern to cut out the front and the back okay i will just fold my my lining into uh, four uh, places like this okay you know it's first of all fold it uh, on fold first then you fold it back again into to just the way you see me doing so that is what i'm going to do now and then as i'm cutting now i'm cutting both the front and the back together okay so this lining we are going to cut out four of this lining okay we are going to be using one as a main fabric and then why one set as a lining okay so that when you're going to stitch everything is going to we're going to make it as in bio stitching okay so you need additional two set of lining the front and the back okay so that is what i'm doing here i place the the first set of lining that I cut out on top of the second, uh, on top of lining again. So I'm tracing it out to just cut out so that I can have four pieces of this, okay? So once you're done cutting it, so every every uh, piece is two two, okay. The main fabric is two, the main, the lining is two. So that is what I have here. So I'm going to use this now to to place it on my lace and trace it out just the way I did today. The, the second second set of the lining, okay. The way I did here, that is the same thing I'm going to do to my lace. So now that i'm done cutting out all my pieces okay basically i have six pieces right here the lace is two pieces then the lining is four pieces so i'm going to use what set of the lining represent my lace so what i'm doing here i just place my lace on top of one of the lining okay so uh, the idea is to get to uh, attach the lace on one of the lining so it will serve as uh, the main fabric okay so that is the idea so i will just pin this round the reason why you need to pin this because stretchable fabric or stretchable material they are this kind of uh there is how it is they don't really relax when you're working with them okay so if you're not careful enough you are going to get the whole thing messed up and you won't like the outcome so just pin it down Okay, just the way you see me doing here. So I'm just taking my time here to do that because I don't want to any stress during the time I'm sewing. Okay, so I will go to my sewing machine and stitch it down. Okay, all the round, all round, all the corners, like just the way I'm showing you. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. Uh, place the second lace on the second lining, so we serve as the front or the back. Okay, so I will place it like this, like I did to the first one. And then I'm going to pin. 
And another thing again, make sure you find the right, right side of the lace because lace has the right side. It's just that if you don't pay attention, you will not know, okay? Find the right side of the lace and then place the right side of the, uh, the wrong side of the lace to the wrong side of the fabric or the, of the lining, okay? So that is what I did. So after then, I will just pin it like I did to the second one and then I will go back to my sewing machine and stop stitch it down. So after joining my lace to the lining, so I now have the main fabric and the lining. So there is no more lining and lining, okay? So I have the main fabric now and then the lining. So the one that is the main fabric is the one that I stitch uh, lace on, okay? So I'm going to place the right side facing the right side here, and then I'm going to pin the side, okay? I need to pin the side together. So that I will go back to my sewing machine to join this side, okay? So basically, that is the process. I hope you are on. I hope you understand this process. I hope you are following up, right? If, if there is anything that you find it difficult, please feel free to reach me out on the comment section or reach me on the my WhatsApp group, okay? Lay your complaint and show me where the you're finding the difficulties. I will definitely respond to you, okay? So. Um, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and join the side with 0 0.5 inch allowance that I added. So the same thing also that I, I did to the lining, okay? I placed the right side facing the right side and I will go and join them. So I have done join my lining by the side, okay? So as you can see, it's very stretchable. So you don't need to worry if there is no zip on it, okay? It's going to go through your body as long as you have uh, your materials that are stretchy, okay? So here is my lace. So uh, the first layer, okay, how will you get the first layer? The first layer, you're going to divide your right hip circumference by three, okay? The first layer, divide your right hip circumference by three, and then you cut a long rectangle. So mine here, I have here 120, okay? My hip is 40 divided by three is 120. So that is what I have here for my first layer, okay? Then the second layer, I said, that is the last layer. The last one, you need to divide your round hip circumference by five. Divide your round hip circumference by five, then you will cut out the long rectangle according to the measurement that you got, okay? And afterward, then you go and make a loose stitch so that you can create your gather, just the way I'm doing here. I've already created my loose stitch, so right now I'm going to start now by gathering my rectangle to the measurement that I got from my first layer, okay? In case if you are not going to be taking the accurate measurement of your first layer from the base, okay? Just make your gather, gather it according to your hip circumference, okay? So that is what you are going to do. So afterward, you're going to, once you've done gather it, you're going to find the midpoint, okay? On every point. The midpoint of the front, the midpoint of the back, the midpoint of the side, the part where you did not join, okay? Mine is only one side of the, only one side that I joined, okay? The other side, there is no join in there. So I have to find the midpoint in between all this, uh, all, all this part that I need to know where the midpoint they are, okay? So here is my center front and my center back, and then this side of my center but my side that I did not stitch on, okay? The other side, I stitch on it, so there is no need. The guideline is already there. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to unpin it so that I will get my, my, first, bay, my first layer, okay? My first layer, and also I need to find the midpoint. Anyway, the midpoint is actually there, which is the, those curvy part from the, from the center front, right? But still, I still need to find the midpoint so that it, it should be uh, accurate or guide me through when I'm going to place it on my list. Okay, so after then, I need to take the measurement to be sure that I have exactly 40 inches as my round hip circumference. Then afterward, I will get my first layer, okay, and then I will start by pinning it to my gather. So this is how I'm going to start, okay, from the midpoint to the midpoint and from the side to side, okay? First of all, I'm going to start now. The right side facing the right side, and then I'm going to start from the midpoint, okay? Of the center back or the center front, because right now, it doesn't have a center front, it, do it doesn't have a front and back. You can use the front 
as the back or you can use the back as the front okay so that is how this skirt is okay so make sure you place it point by point don't start pinning it round first of all place them point by point uh the side to the side the front to the front the back to the back okay so that is what i'm doing here so it's something that you need to uh, take your time when you're working on this because to be honest with you before i got to this point that we are now i have lost several time okay after stitching it and i realized that the gather did not go even okay i have to lose it again and start all over again until i was able to come up with this idea by pinning it from point to point before start um pinning the rest of it okay so right now once I'm done now, I'm just going to start now by pinning the rest of it. As long as I have found the, the midpoint of the side and the back and the front, it's easy for me now to distribute my gather evening. Okay, so yes, that is what you need to know. So once I'm done now, I will head back to my sewing table to stitch my gather to my first layer. Okay, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So once I'm done pinning this round, I will go and join it with 0 0.5. I will be back. So I have joined it together, my gather to my first layer. And then also I have pinned my lining together. So I will go back to my sewing machine now to join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance. I will be back. So guys, um, we have come this far, right? So this is my waistband. Okay. I, what I did is that I I cut out my lining so this is my lining and I cut it on fold okay I cut my lining on fold I took the round circumference of my waist here which I have 28 inches here so when you're cutting your waistband don't use exactly your waist circumference okay you're going to reduce two inches away from there because the lining is stretchy and also the, the like the fabric generally is stretchy okay so you are going to minus two inches because if you use exactly your waist circumference you're not going to get that grip it's going to look loose on your waist in fact it's not going to be your waist circumference because it's stretchy so what i did is that i cut out my lining 27 inches and then my elastic band also 27 inches okay so let me show you how i stitched them together okay i cut a long a long rectangle which is uh, 27 inches okay and the lining also 27 and um the, the elastic also 27 so i placed the elastic on my band or on my lining okay and the distance between how i placed each other the other side is 0 0.5 this side that is much this excess that i have more excess here is 1.5 inches okay and then i place the right side facing each other or the wrong side facing each other and then i stop stitch it with 0 0.5 inch okay so afterward i open it from the seam allowance like this okay just to cover it back so automatically you stitch in your band inside already so you don't need to create a channel and then pass the band inside again so now everything is in bio stitching so you don't need to stretch to fit in your uh, elastic inside i hope you get this part okay so if you don't get it please maybe you can rewatch it again or you leave your comment below to let me know the part where you get confused okay so after um uh, I was done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to face my um, my waistband to my skirt. Okay, so like I said, make find the midpoint. Okay, for every pieces that you're working with, find the midpoint. So I'm going to be start pinning in by point by point before I work my way all around. Okay, so right now I'm placing the joining allowance from the band to the side to one of the side. Okay side by side so any excess that remain you can distribute that evenly okay like i said this actually stressed me up a lot before i came up to this point like this it actually stressed me a lot there was a time where i i would do do it off camera and that is why i forgot to show the part where i was i was uh, get um 
I was um, creating my waistband. Okay, I know this is the part you guys are supposed to get to see, but I think next time I'm going to do something else that relate to this, and then I will show you how I made my band. In case if you did not get this, the point or the explanation that I explained to you how I create my band, I'm going to do something related to this. In fact, I'm thinking of making a pant. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking of making an underwears using the same materials. So I think it's going to be a big privilege for me to show you how I came up with this. Okay, so I'm looking forward to do that. If you also you are interested, you want to see how I make my underwears, I want you to leave your comment below, say underwear tutorial. If you watch to this moment, you are still watching to this moment, leave your comment below, say underwear tutorials. So the more uh, comment I got about this part, <laughs> I'm going to make a tutorial for it. Okay, so yeah. So with that being said, so I'm going to start pinning this. Okay, after pinning it by point by point, so I will now start pinning it all round because the major part is for you to get the point, the center front, the center back, the side, the side by side, uh, accurately so that by the time you start pinning it, it's going to go round because if you don't do this, okay, you're going to have a um, gather on your, on your skirt or by the waist side because you didn't distribute it equally. So that is the whole point, okay? Make sure you distribute it equally so that you have everything stay on the waist or the waistband stay on the waist um, uh, perfectly, okay? So once I'm done pinning this, I will go and join it with 0.5 inch. So I have done that. So here is the last part, okay? The last layer, which I've already gone ahead to pin it off camera. Guys, pardon me for this. The stress I went through for me to be able to get this last layer to fit in exactly without having one side fuller than one side or the gather one side is much than one side. I went through a lot, okay, so that is why uh, I was telling you to make sure you you notch the point, point, the center front, the center back, the side, before you start uh, working on your skirt, okay, because if you do that, it's going to help you distribute the gather even. So to create the gather, you're not going to make a long stitch all through the 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 long rectangle what you're going to do you're going to stitch from the midpoint to the side you stop there start from the side again to stop at the mid uh, point of the back you stop there and then from the midpoint of the back back to the front so that is what i did okay so when you're going to start to reach them then you're going to start reaching it so let me make it easy for you you're going to let's say from point a to point b you stop point point b to point c you stop from point c to point d you stop from point d back to point a so basically that is all you need to know about this so the next now we're going to head to the sewing machine now to start joining this with 0 0.5 inch allowance okay so i hope you understand this i hope you are able to follow up if you do i'm happy to know that and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching to this very moment, I want to say a very big thank you. And um, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification, okay? And help me share this video as well, all right? So I have done stitching it so now. Let's head back to the sewing table. So this is the inside, okay? You were wondering how the inside is looking like. So this is the inside. Everything is in view stitching. Okay. So I have also gone ahead to weave the waistline where I joined my band. Okay. So this is how it is. So this is the in the outside. Okay. This is how the outside is looking like. So it's really dirty right now because of plenty marking and chalking. So what I will do, I will go and wash it and then my skirt is ready. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you learned something from this channel. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and for, don't forget to subscribe, okay? And turn on your post notification. Okay, so uh, I will leave you guys right here. See you on my next video. Bye.